born in Birmingham and um, in one of the suburbs and I was a teenager when the war broke out and I was uh, living with my mother and father in a place called, one of the suburbs called Small Heath in Birmingham and um, for trade I, I was manageress of a hairdressing salon in um, Sheldon which is another suburb of Birmingham and um, where the hairdressing salon was, we was on the main country road on the way to Eldon Airport, which is now Birmingham Airport. And um, one memory, vivid memory I've got is, uh, uh, well, we didn't get the bomb start in Birmingham until about um, August of the, um, 1940. And one Saturday, uh, lunchtime, the sirens went. And um, because I was also an air raid warden as well, part time, and um, uh, I went outside to see what was going on. And I saw this German fighter plane coming straight at me. We got a, where the salon was, uh, we'd got a row of shops, about eight shops. And anyway, he, um, this pilot in this plane, he um, um, shot at all these um, shops. Luckily, he didn't, sh mine was the first shop and he didn't shoot mine, but I'm thinking about it. I was a you know, proper target because I was stood out there in a white overall and as he was coming toward me, he, I don't know how he missed going out over the roofs of the houses, he was so low. And um, he looked at me and I, well I can see him now, I keep getting flashbacks of him. And I think it's because I stood there on my own, he didn't machine gun my salon. But um, it was a terrifying moment really, you know. It, but I think possibly he was after the aerodrome which was just up the road. And uh, of course after he'd gone, I went back in the saloon and um, I'd got about six customers in hysterics under the dryer and under the <laughs> perm machine. And uh, you know, it, it was awful with all the windows, the machine gun, all the shops farther down in the row. That was one of my vivid memories. And, um, and then um, another one was, um, a uh, bit, bit later in the autumn, um, we we got a raid one night, and uh, you you know I'd got to go out. Although I'd been at work all day, I'd still got to go out. You know, sign under the R A R P. My father was also an air raid warden, and this particular night, we um, the sirens hadn't gone long, and the bombers come over, and about two roads away from where the ARP post was, um, he dropped a landmine. And of course we, we knew most of the people around there because we used to have to go and see them and see what, if they was going down a shelter or whatever. And I knew the family, was, uh, well it, it flattened a lot of houses. And the, the, the one house I knew the family so of course we Two or three of us went up to see what we could do, and I was climbing over the rubble to see if I could get at them because we, we they didn't go down into the shelter; they hid it under the stairs. And um, I was on the top, moving all this rubble, and I got nearly, you know, down to them. And in in the ARP, if we had an instant like that occur, uh, the head one used to come round and have a look and he, he always wore a white helmet and when he saw me on top of the, the rubble he ordered me to get down he said you shouldn't be up there and anyway I had to get down he said you've got to wait till um, the, the proper squad you know the heavy boys come along to do it so um, of course we did and, and they took too long to come 
And by the time they got to them, there was five dead in one family. And um, my father called his head everything, you know, instead of letting us get on with it and, and getting to them, we might have saved some of them. Yes, that was another one. And um, well, there was a, quite a lot of bombing in Birmingham because we, we um, a lot of the arm, you know, the uh, guns and, and and everything were made in Birmingham. And uh, there was the VSA that got badly hit. And uh, the singer, I remember the singer works, it's about, it was about a four story built, big building. And um, the, the workers, when the sirens went, they didn't go down, they wouldn't go down to the shelters, they stopped by the machines. And of course, they had a direct hit one night. And uh, it took them about. Um, Oh, fortnight, I should think, to get the body, all the bodies out. And I know there was about 2,500 pe Birmingham people killed in the raids. And um, it's, it used to be awful, you know. I, I, the, the saloon where I worked was about five miles away from home. And, um, you know, you'd be up all night and then you've got to pick your way through the rubble. Uh, I was in a luxury trade. Um, they took me out of that and put me full time with the ARP.